Easter weekend often means church, travel, and family gatherings, but how are people responding to the steady rise in COVID numbers heading into Easter and Passover? Fox 61's Tony Terzi joins us live from a Meriden church where the Good Friday service was well attended. Tony. And they're just inside now, finishing up their final station. They had a two hour procession around the neighborhood, just beautiful. And it appears here at the St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church, togetherness has won out. A long standing Meriden tradition continued this afternoon. It's been just a growing number throughout Lent, more and more people attending Mass. I mean, on Monday night, I was hearing confessions for three hours straight. Father James Manship said that while the Archdiocese of Hartford does not mandate masking, his church encourages it. It's uh, just a new normal, you know, and it's uh, really kind of caring for each other. St. Rose of Lima is roughly 70% Hispanic parishioners. And I think statistically, or in the studies that uh, Hispanic Catholics amongst Hispanics are some of the highest vaccinated uh, in the population. But some folks traveling through Connecticut this weekend do have concerns about the current COVID metrics. We're all boosted and everything, but you know, you still want to be really careful whenever you're inside, you always have your mask on. My family and I routinely uh, continue to, to mask. This New Jersey family headed to Massachusetts to visit family. Even grocery stores and, and areas where we don't have to, we still just have developed a habit, um, both for ourselves and the community. So we just, we continue to, to use that as part of our behavior. Now, next hour on the Fox 61 News at 5, live from St. Rose of Lima Church here in Meriden. We'll do more with the church and also talk about family gatherings. We checked in with a local business just up the hill that relies heavily on Easter business. We're live here in Meriden. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. All right, Tony, thank you very much.